Hundreds of thousands of federal workers and contractors are juggling bills and child care without their government paychecks. Among them is Joan Ships, a mother of two in Northeast D.C. She spent many sleepless nights wrestling with how to survive it all. And Bruce Lashan talked to her today. I'm struggling to figure out how I pay the bills for next month. It's financially difficult to have your salary just halted um, without any knowledge of when it's going to resume. I adore my family, they're everything. My, my daughters are my world, you know, and I want to be able to provide for them and give them everything. It's scary to question whether I can. A bill for my youngest daughter that's 900 bucks. Childcare is a major expense. I've been debating whether to pull my youngest child who isn't in public school yet out of childcare, but if that happens, then I don't know how I would work if the government were to reopen. I don't think my two-year-old understands what's going on, but my five-year-old definitely does. She was asking me, she said, Mommy, why aren't you going to work right now? Uh, that was my first day at my current position. Well, I genuinely want to go back to work. I care about my job. I care about what it is that I do. Do you cry about this? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, because I don't know when I'm getting paid next. I'm, I'm really not sure beyond the next few weeks uh, how my family and I are going to get by. It's embarrassing to be talking to the news about not being able to make ends meet. It's embarrassing uh, to go sit in the unemployment office. I know I'm fine for the next month. After that, I, I, I don't know, something has to give. Um, and I don't know what that's going to be. Now, Joan Ships lives in Northeast DC with her husband and her two daughters. She's a contractor with a federal agency.